first question is whether or not conservative systems have attractors. And the answer is no. Conservative systems do not have attractors. However, even though conservative systems do not have attractors, they can be chaotic. For example, the motion on Pluto is chaotic, but our solar system on human timescales is a conservative system. So conservative systems can be chaotic. Question three asks us which one of these would let us know that we're at a fixed point of a dynamical system? The last option, if the system is at that state and you perturb it, that perturbation will shrink, is a characterization of stability. While stability conditions are often associated with fixed points, that is not the definition of a fixed point. So this condition is not sufficient to let us know that we're at a fixed point of a dynamical system. The trajectory starting there is also not good enough, the trajectory must stay there. The definition of a fixed point is that the dynamics f takes the fixed point x star back to x star. That is, that once a trajectory has reached that state, a trajectory will never leave that state. So the answer to question three, that the trajectories never leave that state, is a sufficient condition to tell us we're at a fixed point of a dynamical system. The next question asks which of these characterizes a stable fixed point. We know from the previous question that the second answer characterizes a fixed point, but it doesn't talk about stability. We also know that the first answer wasn't even enough to characterize a fixed point, let alone a stable fixed point. The first part of the last option characterizes stability. That is, if a system is in this state and you slightly perturb it, that perturbation does not grow. This characterizes the stability portion, and trajectories never leave that state without external influence characterizes the fixed point portion. For these reasons, this last option is correct. In the last problem, we need to characterize each of these points of the damped pendulum as stable, unstable, or not a fixed point. Part A corresponds to this pendulum, where theta is equal to zero and it's not moving. As we saw in the lecture, this is a stable fixed point. Part B is a little bit trickier. So the theta equals zero, so it does correspond to this same pendulum. However, omega, which is the velocity, is pi. So while the pendulum is in this bottom position, it is moving at a velocity of pi. Because of this angular velocity, even though the pendulum is in this bottom position, at the next time step, the pendulum will continue to move. And so f of x star will not be x star. So this is not a fixed point. In this next problem, the pendulum is now in this state. As you saw in the lecture, this was a fixed point. The pendulum will balance here, but it's very unstable. Even blowing on the pendulum will cause it to fall over. For parts d and e, all we need to know is all even multiples of pi with no angular velocity are stable fixed points, and all odd multiples of pi with no angular velocity are unstable fixed points. 